<laughs> Donnie, no! What's going on, y'all? Ground all the way back in this thing again with another video. Today, I'm checking out that boy, Dr. Umar Johnson. Him and Kevin Sanders, I guess they got a little beef or something going. It's, it's brewing, it's mixing, man. So I wanted to, wanted to jump in there and talk about it, man. Let's talk about it, man. Before we get into the video, man, like, comment, subscribe. If you do all three, man, you know I'll be grateful. If you do just one, I'll still be thankful, man. This is pretty interesting, man. I, I want are they gonna actually do like a versus type debate or something? I don't know, but uh yeah, man, I guess we'll uh, we'll comb through the video, see what they saying, see what kind of shots they taking. And uh yeah, we'll we'll just hey, we'll decide what we think. Go on comment below, man. Y'all know I like hearing everybody's opinion, man, whether you agree or disagree, man. Everybody that's disagreed lately, you've been pretty reasonable. So I appreciate that, man. All y'all lanes that disagree and be trying to insult folks and everything like that, shut your weird ass up and stay in the basement. But, uh, yeah, let's go on and check it out now. Let's see what's hitting. I mean, Dr. Umar Johnson, the man who has two children by two different women he never married. Dr. Damn. Umar Johnson. The guy for the last 10 years has not built brick one of a school he's collected money from. Not Dr. Umar, oh, no, hold on, he's been building that school Dr. for like Umar two Johnson. decades. Because <laughs> you queen, mother, goddess, and all this other kind of stuff. And again, for those who are keeping score, this is another woman who comes on and says, Talk to us more like Umar. <laughs> Why'd he do the Bill Cosby? Why? <laughs> Why'd he do the Bill Cosby shake? <laughs> what the hell? And then the little voice, the voice killed me, bro. Y'all know I like doing little stupid voices, but that, that killed me. Run my donations. I mean, shout out to Umar. I ain't got no problem with the dude, but I think it's funny. Y'all keep coming over here asking everybody to talk like Umar. Queen Mother God. Coco Bunny and Seamoss Gold and shit. I'm going to speak power and strength into our beautiful Africa. Hey, man, I like sea moss, man. Well, it's nasty, but when you put it in your shake and stuff, it's got the nutritional benefits and all that. You got to get the uh, you got to get the kind of gooey paste one. You can't get the like the powder or nothing like that. You got to get the gooey paste one, and you got to mix it in like your protein shake. That way, you don't taste it. And everything else just kind of goes. It still kind of tastes like a little earthy and everything like that, but it doesn't taste that bad. Mix it in something. Don't be an idiot and mix it in water or some shit because it's going to ruin your day. <laughs> Let's go. That's right. I'm going to build you up. And what makes it so bad about these uh, so-called life coaches, some of them actually regurgitate a lot of Dr. Umar talking points. Mm. People send me clips. People send me clips of some of these YouTubian opportunists, so-called life coaches, and I'm seeing some of them quote me verbatim without giving credit to their source. And some of them claim to not even like me, so why are you quoting my material and not referencing me? You obviously watch me. You obviously watch me because too much of my material is coming out of your mouth. Does Dr. Umar have a show or something like that where folks be quoting him? Because I know like he has, he's been on the Breakfast Club a couple of times, I've had the interviews and everything. He might say some some crazy things then and then, you know, some folks might say something. But does he have like a YouTube channel or something? Like I follow his Instagram because it's entertaining. And some of the stuff I agree with for the most part. But uh, I mean, does he have like a YouTube? Y'all let me know something. Or like a podcast, anything like that. It's a whole group. There's at least 12. I think I've counted 12 different YouTubian beta male wannabe life coaches that are out there slandering 12, black though. women, attacking. I want to know. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all. I need y'all to comment down on this. I need everybody that's watching the video to comment down, man. Who are the 12 YouTubian beta males? <laughs> Who are the 12 YouTubian beta males that he's talking about, man? We know he got Kevin Sands in the car hairs. Who else? I'm gonna I'm go off and say, I'm gonna say Coke Greg Adams. I'm gonna say uh, Donovan Sharp. I'm gonna say, uh, goddamn. I don't know who else is like a big one, man. Uh, I don't know, like, I don't know if he would like include uh, AMS and them like that, because I don't know if AMS and them like actually like 
really talk about race like that, or, or just, if they're just black guys, so he kind of is including in, them into the YouTube and beta male space. But uh, I don't know if you're talking about Stevens Cole. Who are the, who are the twelve beta males that he must slay to bring himself ultimate glory? Who are they, man? Comment that down below, man. Please comment it down. But I only got like two or three. I guess I um, maybe that one dude, Elliot Hulse, He's lame. He's weird. He's like fat now. But it's like, I don't know. Keep going. Let, let's keep going and see what's going on. Black women, degrading black women. I count about a dozen. I'm going to call them the dirty dozen of division. Okay, okay. And then he says another thing about them degrading black women. Like, So I've never seen AMS uh, really degrade black women. I have definitely uh, heard Donovan Sharp say some kind of some errant things about black folks, period. Um, Coach Greg Adams, too. He's definitely on his Carlton type shit. Um... And then Kevin Samuels, like, I guess he's talking to mostly black women, so they look at it like, yeah, you, you're degrading black women and everything like that. But most of these women that are coming on his show, they deserve their their degradation or whatever. I guess is that the word? I don't know. They're, they're degrading that they get. But uh, they deserve the scolding that they get, man, because most of them, they come on there, they fat as a bitch talking about some, I deserve six figures and all this kind of stuff. Or I mean, even the, the one lady that was average at best, like, you know, she said she deserves six figures, but it's like, you're you're not a good looking lady, man. Let's let's be real about it. Let's be real about it. And uh, yeah, man. He uh, and she, I mean, I, yeah, she makes six figures, and that's great that she's got her own little business and everything like that. She hitting it, getting it right. But man, what the hell, man? Like you're 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 not the best looking, man. Just get your get your okay looking man that make you about he make about eighty ninety him something maybe like that. I don't know. He make about seventy five eighty. I don't know. You can you can you can build with him and be happy and all that. Maybe he'll build his way up to get to six figures. Goddamn! But you know, ladies don't like to uh, help nobody build. They just wanna want the finished product like an NFL uh, combine. They, yeah, he needs to come out running touchdowns every play. Like they expected Reggie Bush to run touchdowns every play. No, nope, didn't work out. But yeah, man. Uh, I guess like one time I did hear Kevin Sanders kind of kind of taking down black women was when he was talking about that whole. Uh, for him to actually see it in his in his actual line of sight, a woman that's over a six. That's like he, he sees that like once or twice a year, man. Really? Yes. 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 I believe it hundred percent. Yes. If you go in inner city Philadelphia, inner city Chicago, inner city Newark, New Jersey, inner for that matter, you go in those places where uh, uh Donald Donnie Glover uh, bases his show in Atlanta. You don't see uh broads as oh, a six and above on the regular in those places, New Orleans and all that. You're lucky if you can find if you can find just straight up five. Yeah, black women by the Fibonacci sequence, their facial symmetry doesn't work. Nobody gives a fuck about no white man Fibonacci sequence. Like that that has nothing to do with a black person or like beauty in general for everybody. Like, cause it's like back in the day, the guy made a good point. He said back in the day, most stuff was against black people. So like most of the scientific studies and everything were against black people. So like you can you have to think like they didn't include black people in like some shit like the Fibonacci sequence or some bullshit like that. So you can't use that as a scale to rate black people and then he talking about some yeah uh based off the Chinese uh, magazines black people are the least attractive. Well I mean we know Chinese people are a little bit uh, a little bit uh a little bit hater raid over there man but uh I don't know I'm I'm gonna do a video about uh, about something like that. Y'all gonna see, but uh, yeah, man. You, I mean, that's what do y'all think about that particular thing, man? I um, I'll probably link that video down in the um, uh, in the video below. I mean, in the uh, description below. So it's about all that dude, that poor, that poor black man dude actually made it, and I didn't, I didn't really uh care for him at first. I thought it was just hate, but then he put that up. So I'm kind of thinking like he got some, he's got some points. But uh, yeah, let's keep going and finish this thing. The Triple D, the Dirty Dozen of Division. There's about 12 members of the Dirty Dozen, the dirty dozen. of Division. 12 beta males, YouTube like. <laughs> I really want to know who they are, bro. Are trying to build a platform by making black women feel bad. I don't mm. like it. I, I, I can't appreciate black men trying to make a dollar off of making black women feel bad. And unfortunately, our black women, some of them are so thirsty for validation that they're participating. They're participating in the attacks and slander against the black female community. And that's not acceptable. 
that's not acceptable. All right, so that's the video right there, man. So yeah, man. Um, as far as the whole degrading black women thing, as far as uh, the twelve YouTube and beta males go and everything like that, I will say if he's if he's talking about the people I'm thinking like uh, Coke Greg Giles and um, Donovan Sharp, those guys definitely they definitely put down black women and black people as a race. It's like they're just like sold out basically. And then uh, Kevin Samuels, um, besides the Fibonacci sequence thing that he said about you know black women's facial symmetry not matching up to that. I don't really think that uh, he's just he's just going out here just seeking out and destroying uh, black women like like these women call up to a show and they say ludicrous things and they deserve to be they deserve to what they what they get said to them man like you got this fat as a bitch lady talking about some she's the Beyonce of Kansas you're fat as hell your face is droopy you look like a uh, I don't know what that cartoon is I don't forgot but she looked like a cartoon man she kind of looked like Snoopy a little bit but uh, your face is droopy man then we got the other lady talking about she's a ten. You look like shit. Not really. Look, I mean, not really like shit, but you ain't cute like that. Then we had the little model lady that that was kind of weird a little bit. And uh, she called up there on some weird shit. She followed me, too, on the Instagram, man. I don't I don't understand what her motives are for that, man. Maybe she wants some BBC, man. But I ain't. I don't know. But, uh... What, who else? What else did he do on that thing, man? Just, uh, just ladies are... Ladies are, are saying some outrageous things, man. And I think that this kind of goes back to, uh... You know, when men say, when men have, I guess, I guess, when, you know, when men have, uh, I guess, uh, what's it called, stipulations for, like, how they want their woman and everything, like, it's looked as, as bashing for the most part. Some of these Red Pill coaches be bashing, folks. I ain't gonna act, but, but, uh, but, like, I feel like they act like when, you know, when a man says, yeah, I want you to be thin, I want you to goddamn not be a bum, I want you to goddamn at least be able to have, you know, the, uh, the nurturing skills and, uh, I guess, the, the home skills of a woman. I want you to, to, you know, be like a kind of like a, a in a synergy. I want you to kind of be able to be a synergy with me instead of just being on some goddamn sit back and uh, be independent kind of stuff. I don't know. Like I think those are like decent standards. Like if, like a man has standards, it's not bashing women. I think it's just having standards. But a woman has standards. You know, it's all good and there and dandy and you know they can have the the body positivity moment. And you got the the gay dudes running around. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. Ooh, yes. And stuff like that. I, I don't know, man. It's just uh, it's kind of kind of a little backwards right there, man. I, like I said, man, I don't agree with these red pill coaches all the way, man. Some of the stuff they say is cool, but then some of the stuff they be saying is way overboard. It's like, bro, get your ass out of here, man. But uh, yeah, man, what do y'all think about that whole video, man? Who do y'all think will win a debate between Kevin Samuels and Dr. Umar Johnson? Do we need to see this on a versus battle on Instagram? How many of y'all are tuning in? Let me know who the 12 YouTubian beta males are. And, uh, yeah, man, that's it, man. Uh, I guess, like, I don't know. Imagine all them fighting. Who will win? So you finally decided to show your ass up. Donnie, are you funny again? Shut the hell up, Devin. I've got this. You know your place. But, but, but Donnie, I don't want you to get hurt. You're dating and wrestling. You and that fat white hoe. you taking all your resources and you're bringing them back to her. Meanwhile, you're degrading the black community. You hear to say the community? It's not even worth anything. Your people are finished. The women, terrible. The men, bums. What's the point of it? You don't even get me started on you, Carlton. I've been wanting to fuck you up for a minute. Well, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna mess you up good. Get him! Yeah. Taking down the black community. What the French toast? I heard you was looking for me. Now you got two kids, two different big moms. You've been raising fuzz on that same school for 20 years. And I'm about to beat you for all the people you stole from. Yo, who I've been looking for? I've been waiting to take your fake high value ass down. Fake high value? I'm about to show you with a lifetime of dancing on a high school chilling team. That the plus years of martial arts is gonna show you. Now you're gonna know what it's like to get that Pan Africanism. <laughs> now I told you now, uh, 30 years of dance team and martial arts will get you right. 
No, uh, no, uh, Byron and Fred. Yes, you got to follow Yes, yes, okay. Get yes. Get off the ground, man. We'll get him out of there. Get him out of here. It's going to be a fat nigga fight, man, because Dr. Umar is fat as a bitch. Got down, uh, Donovan Sharp is fat as a bitch. Got down, Coke Greg Adams is like not fat, but he's like not in shape. He's like a slobby. He's like, he's like old guy who works out, who does the bare minimum to just, to just keep his cholesterol down in shape. And then Kevin Samuels is like, Kevin Samuels is like essentially the same thing. He's just like a thinner, taller, uh, sloppy old guy, man. He ain't, he ain't in shape. He was talking about he do, th he do, he be doing martial arts for 30 years. You don't look like it, my boy. I, I was, like, imagine Kevin Samuels like, you meeting up, you running up on Kevin Samuels because you mad and he whooped your ass. How would you feel about it, man? Let me know how you would feel if you ran up on Kevin Samuels, whistle smoke, and he beat your ass. What would you feel like afterwards? Would you go into hiding? Would you come back and go to the gym and get you, get yourself together and box? Or would you got down? I don't know. What would you do, man? Like, that'd be pretty funny, though. He, he did say he, talked to, he took the uh, martial arts. I wonder how that would be if they actually fought physically. Goddamn, a Royal Rumble between Umar Johnson and 12 beta males, goddamn. Let me know who they are, man. But, uh, yeah, that's it for the video right there, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe again, man. Appreciate y'all watching the video. Hope y'all have a great day. Y'all go out here and get it, and then I'll see y'all next time.